Hi, this is Jason with Banna Properties. And a question that I often get asked is when buying and selling land in Missouri, who pays for the land survey? Uh, who needs to pay for this? Is it the buyer or the seller in the great state of Missouri? So I, I wanna just talk a, a little bit about this subject today. Uh, first question that we need to define is, uh, why do I need a survey and do I need a survey? Um, now, if you're looking at buying land or even selling land and you've been told that you need a survey, one of the first things that you need to do is you need to call your county recorder's office there in the county in which your land is located in Missouri. You need to ask them if there are any surveys on record. Oftentimes, there's a survey done at some point to um, plot your land out and the surveyor filed that plat of survey on record at the county level. Now there are cases where people have paid to get a property surveyed for their own uses because they want to uh, know where their property lines are and they did not file it. Um, you could also, if you're buying property, ask the seller, do you have a survey? Has there been a survey? Um, the nice thing is if, if they have had a survey done and they have the survey paperwork, you can actually, and it's been recent, you could actually file that survey yourself and it would be on record. And that survey is not going to change over time it should be staked and if it's been 30 40 years maybe uh, you can't find those stakes on the survey but a surveyor um, with that plat of survey can survey your property much quicker and for less money the second question maybe at this point you're asking is what exactly is a survey um, you're talking about something I'm not sure I understand it so I want to give you a quick example of what a survey is and basically a survey is nothing more and nothing less than a plat or a small map showing the exact location of your property and its property lines. Now most counties in Missouri actually have a GIS mapping system. This is a um, online uh, mapping plat system that shows uh, uh, property lines throughout the state in different places and they're very close but they're not exact. Being that it's satellite imagery um, they could vary by 20, 30 feet. They give you a rough idea of how to locate your property, but it's not exact. It's important in some cases to have a survey. If you're going to put up a fence, a wall, you're going to build on the property, you need to know exactly where your property lines are, where your property ends and your neighbor's property starts. In this example, uh, we can see the road is named Robin Hood Lane and the width of it. And you can see um, that this was filed at the county level. Um, there's a legal description of where the lot was located. And these little squares that we see, it says 3 8 diameter rebar. So a surveyor actually went out to the property. He measured and he found and measured the distances 270 feet down this corner and 105 feet in width, 85 feet along the road and he actually pounded in some rebar stakes into the ground. Now, um, this survey uh, was done within the past 15 years, so these stakes might be a little rusty, but a person looking should be able to actually find those stakes. There are other stakes also here that are nearby markers that he probably used to locate it off of. And you can see um, there are some coordinates here, uh, meets and bounds coordinates, which show the angles of the lot lines. Uh, this property survey is something that will be on file and then will be able to be referred to later if you have a problem or a boundary dispute and you need to find uh, that corner or that property line. Possibly even if you can't find the 3 8 rebar anymore, you could pay a surveyor to come back out and relocate and remark it and they would use this map to do that. So back to the original question, who pays for the land survey? And the answer is very simple. It can be either the buyer or the seller. Depending on the terms of the sale that you negotiate when selling your property or when buying your property, either person could pay for it. Now, I do want to be clear that many properties are bought and sold in the state of Missouri without a survey. Due to the fact that uh, there's often GIS satellite coverage, usually we can see roughly uh, a very close idea of where the lot lines lie without a survey. Um, so there are many properties that are bought or sold without a survey and oftentimes the buyer, if they would like a survey, will then pay for that. 
However, there are times when a person says to the seller, I would like you to pay for the survey or a part of the survey. Now, depending on the negotiation process uh, and the agreement that you come to, um, you can come to terms and it's negotiable. So the first thing you would do would come to an agreement um, with the party that's buying the property if you're selling, and then have them put that in writing in the purchase agreement that you'll both sign so that it's very clear. With that being said, um, if you would like to sell your property fast, no worries about paying for a survey or back taxes or closing costs, a great way to sell a property would be to sell it to someone like myself, a land investor. We're going to make you a direct cash offer, no frills, no extras, no surveys to pay for, or nothing else of that sort. And you can fill out the form on this website to get a cash offer for your property within 24 hours. Thank you very much.